Hey everybody, what up? Jaden's back with another video for you guys, another tier ranking list for you guys, more specifically. And today, we're going to be talking about Avenged Sevenfold, sometimes simply known as A7X. Sinister Gates is also in this band, he's my favorite guitar player of all time, so I am most stoked about this one. Without further ado, let's get on with the list. And as usual, this tier ranking list is pretty straightforward as usual. You have shit tier, low tier, mid tier, high tier, top tier, and god tier. Pretty Comprehendable, I believe. Okay, the first album we're going to be talking about is Hail to the King. I believe this album was released in either 2012 or 2013. Don't quote me on that, but it was right around there. That's all I can remember. I think it's a, it was a pretty good release uh, for the most part. Uh, I really like the title track, Hail to the King. Heard that one on the radio quite a bit. Sing that one at karaoke a lot. Just a really cool uh, kind of throwback kind of song. Kind of reminds you of the 70s metal or really early 80s kind of metal uh kind of almost acdc iron maiden kind of kind of vibe to it i don't know it's 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 different it's different but it kind of has a throwback vibe to it uh, along with shepherd of fire kind of the same vibe coming home has a very iron maiden vibe to it as well which is probably my favorite song on the whole entire record to begin with this means war pretty much if i gotta be real a lot of people say this sorry to say this guys Kind of a sad but true ripoff. Thought it sounded pretty raw but polished at the same time. We're going to put this one in probably the high tier. I think that's a pretty appropriate ranking for this album. We're going to move on to the next album, which is Nightmare. And I'm repping that album right now. So you might have a pretty good idea how I feel about that record. But you're going to in a moment. This is the only A7X record I actually physically own. I used to throw this album on in a lot of long car trips uber drives as well every single track on this record is at bare minimum a b plus rating all, all honestly they all might have an a rating to tell you the truth starting off track the title track nightmare that slow creepy intro then goes into that cool drum beat with welcome to the family with the next track then danger line was the next track and i kind of lose track of the tracks after that actual listening but has like so far away on it as well which was paying homage to the Rev, who unfortunately passed away right before the album released, he had a few bits and parts that were scattered throughout the record of his playing. Sadly enough, we'll never get to see Rev play with Avenged Sevenfold in person. Sucks, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. The song Fiction has some Rev vocals in there that just give you absolute goosebumps. If he, Even if he was alive today, they still would. But the fact that he passed, like they just it's almost like a good goodbye note or something like that it's really really deep hits you home for sure uh save me is a really i think a deep cut from the record so without further ado this this is gonna go into the god tier for damn sure that wasn't that was a no-brainer looks like the next album is a self-titled album just with the bat logo on it and the white background pretty simple straightforward album design it has my favorite song of all time by event of old called Afterlife, which I just did a cover of that, a little mindless self-promotion here. I did that with my friends on a channel called Modern Distortion. It's on his channel. I can drop a link down below if you want to go check that out. And yeah, so it has Afterlife on there. It has Critical Claim on there, which I binge played on Rock Band because you could download that to Rock Band. So I used to binge play that like a motherfucker on Rock Band. A little piece of heavens on this record. It's kind of like, uh, as I was talking about, um earlier with save me kind of a weird long song but very different from save me though <sighs> kind of something you would hear in a movie almost it's it's really really quirky and really cool and long and catchy and really doesn't get old i think the deep cuts from this record are like brompton comp tail and lost the only song i really don't dig from this record is dear god uh scream almost easy or also really really good hits from that record as well uh so this is gonna go obviously into the god tier it, not as good as a record as nightmare but it's 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 pretty damn good so it belongs in god tier okay so moving on to their first album ever i believe this was released in 2001 if i'm not mistaken i believe sinister gates is on this record i'd have to go double check this is called sounding the seventh trumpet by far my least favorite record I do not like this album at all. I've listened to this album maybe two or three times. I cannot get into it whatsoever. Uh, this is going into shit tier. Pretty easy. The only kind of redeeming 
song from this record is Warmness of the Soul, which is kind of more of a piano ballad. Okay, the next record is Waking the Fallen. I believe this was released in 2003. The song on Holy Confessions is on this record. I believe that was the biggest hit on this record. That's the song that got me into them. Uh, it was the live at the LBC version that I actually heard first. It wasn't even the actual song, but that whole performance is absolutely amazing. I'd go check it out if I were you. Every single song sounds amazing on there, as well as Second Heartbeat, which is a part of that live at the LBC rendition, which is on this record as well, which is one of my favorite songs on this record. Chapter 4 is on this album. And really, after that, I really can't really say I've gotten into the rest of the album. So at the time of recording this video, I'm going to have to give it a mid-tier, just because there are some bangers, as I just mentioned, on it. But I really, as an album as a whole, I really haven't gotten into it. But maybe... If we go back and listen to it, maybe my mind will change and maybe it'll go up into God tier. We're going to move on to City of Evil, which I think was really, in my opinion, their breakthrough record, if you ask me. I believe this record, don't quote me, was released in 2005 with Warner Brothers. I believe it was their second release with Warner Brothers by this time. But in my opinion, this is when the band really, really took off and they went really went away from the metalcore sound with a lot of screaming to just a more hard rock kind of heavy metal kind of sound. Uh, very little screaming on this record, if any at all, honestly. Um, but it has songs like Backcountry, uh, Beast and Harlot, Seize the Day, has Trash and Scattered, M.I.A. There's so many cuts from this record, I, I could just really go on. But this is an album my friend owned, and so I heard this album quite a bit when we go on our adventures and such. Never actually owned it myself. And I always enjoyed it. Uh, Really, really, really uh, hear, hear a lot of more Sinister Gates kind of shredding and stuff on this record. You don't really hear it as much on Waking the Fallen or Sound of the Sound of the Trumpet. But it was really good to have him really come out and really, really, really freaking shred. There's more harmonized guitars and stuff and such. And I think that's one of the reasons I really dug it. Uh, there are some spots on the record where I think um, M. Shadow's vocals are a little weird and I really can't get into the tone of his voice at all. So that kind of ruins the grade for this album for me just a little bit. So I would put it in top tier. This is my second least favorite album, The Stage. Uh, I've listened to it twice all the way through. I could just never really get into it as a whole. I like the song God Damn. And I really like the title track, The Stage. It's a beautiful song. But the album as a whole, I just really could never get into it. It just doesn't hit home. The production's really great, for sure. And the guitar tone, I think, really improved. So I'll give it that. But it's just going to go into low tier. It's not shit. I think there's really good songwriting on here. It just didn't move me like, uh, like Hail of the King or City of Evil or Self-Titled or especially Nightmare. So... It's going to get that ranking. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video or any other video on my channel, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. It also really helps to like these videos and to comment on them. I really like to hear from you guys. Any suggestions you may have, any covers you want me to do in the future, any tier list rankings you want me to do in the future, or any video ideas that I haven't done yet. If you're in a band and you want your video reacted to or your audio reacted to or your lyric video reacted to, whatever, send your music my way. I will drop an email in the description and maybe you'll see your band be reacted to as well. But from now on, stay tuned guys for more and thank you for making it to this point and being patient with me. Have a good day.